So one of my favorite things about Lego sets is the ability to take the store Lego produced sets and remix them and remix them into something different and remix them into something of your own. Uh, that's called a mock, a my own creation. And I like taking buildings, especially uh, in the Lego system, uh, in the friend system, in the city, in any of the themes, and remixing them into modular buildings. Uh, the modular buildings are my favorite sets. It's my favorite theme. Uh, it's been running for over 10 years, and it's got some of the most amazing builds and some of the most beautiful uh, city builds. Uh, and if you're doing a Lego city, your, your base is the modular buildings. I've got all of them except three. Uh, hopefully I can get those last three ones. Well, they're actually the first three ones. Uh, they're super expensive now. But what's really fun is taking sets that are available in the store and making modular buildings out of them. Uh, and that's what we're going to do today. We're going to take the Lego Friends uh, Emma's Art School a set 41711. Uh, we bought two of these. I threw out the other box. But imagine if there was two of these boxes. So I took two of these uh, and made a modular building out of it. Uh, this set on its own, really good set. I think it's one of the most beautiful uh, Lego Friends sets that they've released uh, ever. It it doesn't looks like doesn't look like a Friends set. Uh, it looks more like a regular you know Lego modular building, but the Lego Friends sets don't have backs. They're only like facades. They're only fronts of buildings. Uh, kind of like dollhouses and playhouses, they only have one side to them, and that's the front. But in this particular set, what a front it is. It's so nice. It's got the nice, like, detailing on the on the roof, on uh, and then each has three distinct levels that uh, look really nice. It's got this beautiful fall autumn tree uh, that is on the side, and some nice detailing on the uh, sides. The sign up front for Emma's Art School is really cool, is really, really cool. Um, and with the, the brick built paintbrush and the brick built pencil to show off the art school. It's a really great set and actually a really good price for what you're getting for 844 pieces. Uh, I was able to get these uh, for under $50 each. So for about $100, I was able to make a modular building um, that would cost a lot more. So this set I've seen frequently on sale. It's a great set. I would highly recommend this set on its own, even if you're not making a modular building. If you were just getting uh, a nice building that you want in your city, you can make it smaller, you can just make it as it is, but it's a really great set. Uh, I've still seen it on store shelves, so it still is available at the time of recording this video but it's really pretty and I think uh, it's one of the few cases that the Friends buildings really blend in with a few modifications can blend in with any style that you're making. So after building this one, the, the normally what I do when I do these like my own builds and, and, and remixes of sets is I build the original. So I follow the instruction booklet and I just build it how it's supposed to be. One reason I do that is it allows me to see what techniques and styles were used for the build. The style of the windows, the way the structure is, the way the structure of the, the middle column is, really kind of shows you the ins and outs of the set uh, and gives you ideas as you're building. So build it all the way through, uh, put it together, make the set as it's supposed to be following the instructions. And that's just the style, how I do these modulars and how I do these remixes, is I build the set as it is, then I start to look at it and say, hey, what kind of ideas? Get a second copy of the set. Uh, building that first copy of the set can kind of tell you if a second copy of the set is what you need to make it into a modular or your own building, or if you're gonna just need parts. So sometimes you don't need a complete second version of the set, it's a lot of wasted pieces that, that are gonna happen. Um, so you might be better off just purchasing windows and some of the detailing and some of the other things. This particular set 
lends itself to having two of the same set. Because um, you need more of the windows, you need more of the detailing, you need more of the tan bricks. Uh, so this particular set lends itself really well to buying a second copy and trying to remix it. Uh, one thing I also do is I go to the Lego store and I check out the prick brick wall. And I try to see if there's pieces that can help in the build. For this particular set, luckily, on the pick a brick wall, masonry bricks. Was able to find a bunch of masonry bricks in that tan color. So finding the masonry bricks in the tan color uh, was really helpful to, to do this build. So found a bunch of these, so basically fill a bucket of these uh, and then get these masonry bricks that have uh, like bricks, like brick on the side, uh, really helpful for the build and really are able to uh, fill a lot of the space that's needed to make a, a full size building. So it was able to find these on the pick a brick wall. Additionally, from the pick a brick wall, I was able to find these windows that are available in this set. So I bought a whole bunch of these more windows that can help fill in some of the gaps and can help with the building. And they're just actually really great pieces. So I was able to get more windows and more bricks that match the set. So that's the most important thing is finding things that match the set that can help you with your build. So once we had our build, once we had some additional pieces and obviously part of my own collection, I pull them all out, uh, put them in a tray. These are actually all the leftover pieces. So you put everything in a tray. And uh, once completed, you start remixing, you start pulling out, you start adjusting. I start taking sections of the building and adjusting it, uh, taking pieces of it and chunks of it. And without further ado, this is my version of Emma's Art School as a full-size modular building. There we go. Nice and large. It's actually qu really big. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Um, it, it ended up being, you know, three stories plus the rooftop. Uh, having the two sets really helped with this roof build uh, so that I can do similar looking. They're, they're a little bit different, a little clock tower on one side, uh, no clock tower on the other side. But having two of the same sets was able for me to get all of these same pieces and all this same kind of detailing up here. Uh, the additional windows that I got from Pick a Brick were allowed me to do these huge, uh, um, kind of extended windows out here. I decided to take the sign off. It just didn't fit and it didn't look right. It looked better without the sign. Um, so we took the sign off uh, and, and left it off, left some of the detailing on the street level, did some additional detailing on like the sidewalk, took the detailing that they had on the side of the building. Um, they had on the side of the building here, some detailing as like murals took those murals and remixed them onto the street side. So made them as part of like a sidewalk uh, painting gallery area. Um, so changed that up, uh, left the trees, made two trees instead of one. So it, it kind of uh, bookends this paint area really nicely um, and extended the entire thing. It's a much larger building than the original. Uh, the set itself was pretty tall to begin with, but I think adding in those masonry bricks in here and extending the height of each of the levels uh, really allowed it to be a majestic building. Uh, using the pieces from the set, from the two sets to fill in these walls and then some additional just windows. And then you see how uh, helpful these masonry bricks come in here to kind of fill out the back in that same color but really happy with how this came out. Uh, it's actually one of my better modular building remixes uh, from sets. I've, I've tried these a few times, um, but this is my favorite so far. And I've, and I've been able to pull this one off really well and not with a whole lot of additional pieces. Um, wanted the front and the side to be different. So it's, it's kind of a corner building, but it's got the pins on the side. Uh, didn't want it to just be a facade. I really liked the detailing that the friend set had in the corner. So wanted to maintain some of that and keep some of that. So added a lot more detail than originally uh, intended in the set. But for me, it's really about keeping the spirit of the original set, but making it your own and making it something new. 
um, that wasn't available. Lego official modular buildings are really detailed nowadays. Uh, for me, I really focus on the outside more than the inside uh, because I, I think people aren't really seeing the inside as much. So I think it looks good in a city when you're placing it with other buildings. That's really the focus for me. And so I don't focus as much on the interior. And it's really hard. It's really hard to do stairs. That's for me, it's one thing I find hard. If for anybody else that does this, please leave a comment below. What, what's the hardest part of making a modular building for you? For me, it's figuring out the stairs and then the levels between having them line up. Um, but let's take a look inside. We've got that top level comes clean off and, and, and is a, a full roof. This is a lot more pieces than, than the modulars normally have up top on the roof. And on the top level, we kept the uh, 3D Studio that is being used to make 3D printing and then the clay uh, studio, doubled the clay studio. So uh, maintaining some of the spirit of the original set, it's making the, the, the art school, you know, the, the sculpture and 3D uh, department is upstairs uh, on the third level. On the middle level, uh, we have the painting studio on that side right there and then the sewing classes on that side. So uh, some of the sewing, the two sewing machines added a minifigure top there that's being worked on. Uh, that's like clothing and added a seamstress who has got some scissors in hand. Uh, so, and then I, I really liked the original sign so I kept it in there from the original building. I just kept the sign as is in there for, for the art school, it'd be like overlooking the, the atrium. Uh, again, taking some of the stickers and some of the stuff and adding some additional details for them to, to work in there. And on the bottom level, because uh, photography is the most important thing, we've got two photography studios um, side by side and some extra uh, art students in there that are uh, in all black. On the outside, we've got that studio, uh, the painting studio drawing area on the outside. Uh, you've got an artist, got the artist, CMF, uh, minifigure artist out front. Uh, he's like a professor, uh, leaving him outside in the front. Uh, and in the back, we've got a student who's late to class, horrified, running late. She just dropped her bike off in the bike rack on the back. And that's the whole building we've got uh, the bottom level with the photo studios. We've got the middle level with painting and sewing. And then the top level with sculpture and 3D modeling. And that's the whole building. Take a look at what it looks like next to other modular buildings. It looks really nice. I love it next to, I currently have it displayed next to the diner. Uh, looks really nice with the diner, sitting next to the diner. It, it kind of, the diner has a, the staircase that comes on, on the side. It, it lends itself to this kind of open area so that you can see this side of the building is not really getting obstructed, even though it is connected um, from two sides. Uh, so it looks really nice in that regard. It's working really nice. I think really proud of this build. Um, and it's a, it's a full structure. It's, it's a full big building. Uh, it is not a tiny building by any way. It looks, it kind of works with the other modulars, fits right in with them. Uh, and then I added my own figures because who likes mini dolls? Uh, added some regular mini figures to give it some personality and some life uh, in the whole set. Thank you for uh, hanging out with me and watching my first uh, video displaying one of my mocks uh, and my sets, my own creation, uh, a remix of the art school from the friend line into a modular building and I'll share some some detailed close-ups and uh, some some detailed looks at what the set looks like thanks for watching remember to like and subscribe leave a comment down below which set you'd like to see me try to make a modular out of um, be it double or not so i uh, really looking forward to do some more of these I have some more planned, but I'd love to hear what people are thinking and what sets they'd like to see modularized. So thank you for tuning in. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe and stay tuned for more builds.